Good morning. So what I'm going to look at in this video is the heating system in an electric van. So in this case, we've got a Maxus E-Deliver 3 here. This has got 35 kilowatt hour battery. And as you can see, it's pretty frozen this morning. The sun is now out, the fog has lifted and it is starting to defrost. It was minus nine this morning. Uh, I would imagine it's about zero degrees here now. But anyway, I've got a thermometer down there on the ground outside of the sun and we'll look at that in a minute. So yeah, out of the sun, it is still minus three, maybe minus four. So let's jump in and start it up. So inside, it's probably going to be a little bit warmer because the sun is now coming through the windows. And yes, it's risen to, uh, it's probably about minus one in here. So with a diesel vehicle or a petrol vehicle, You've got a combustion engine under the bonnet and heat is the byproduct. So those vehicles have endless amounts of heat. However, what you find now in the winter is they take a long time before you get any heat into the cabin. Whereas an electric vehicle, obviously you've got no combustion engine, you've got no um, nothing producing heat. So you have to produce heat with an electric heater. The advantage of that is you get instant heat and that's really nice in the winter. So obviously the downside is it does use a lot of energy to make that heat. Um, and electric vehicles get a bad rap because of their performance in the winter. It is true, electric vehicles have less range in the winter and batteries don't like being very cold, so they store a bit of less electricity. So um, you do get less range in an electric vehicle in the winter. But the heating system is a very uh, efficient very quick because it's an all, all electric heater so let's test this and see how quick it takes to demist this windscreen so let's get some heat on we'll get it up on the windscreen I'll put it to maximum fan because of course you would put it to maximum fan so we've got air conditioning on and now I'll switch on the heat as well so we've got heating and air conditioning oh. I was meant to switch the timer on. I'm going to put the timer on as well. So let's go to stopwatch start and see how long that takes now to demiss the windscreen. Enough that you can then swipe the wipers and drive. So we're one minute in and this air coming out of the vent is hot and the ice has broken up all the way across now and actually if I swipe the wipers that would clear uh, just fine but I just want to hold off a little bit just so I don't damage the wiper blades but you can see that that ice has all broken up and that will actually swipe fine so in reality it's about a minute so we're now two minutes in and the temperature inside here has risen to uh, five or six degrees that is and yeah, the ice is melting very nicely, so if I just swipe the wipers here, yeah, that's all completely clear and um, that's fine to drive. I would just say I've got my heated seat on as well, so I am sitting here nice and warm. These don't have a heated steering wheel, it is a van after all, but you do get that nice instant heat in an electric vehicle, which you just don't get in modern combustion engine vehicles. So after three minutes I'm actually going to turn the air conditioning off, turn the fan down and put it on windscreen and my feet and the internal temperature has risen to 10 degrees in three minutes. So from about minus four to plus ten in three minutes a de-iced windscreen and a reasonably warm cabin um, that's what you get with electric vehicles. You get instant heat. The downside is it does consume electricity and will reduce your range a bit. Um, if it's got a resistive heater like this, you're probably looking on average 15 to 20% less range in the uh, winter. With vehicles with a heat pump heating system, which is much more efficient than a resistive heater, you're looking at about um, 10 to 15% less range. Uh, it does depend on the vehicle and the efficiency and that sort of thing. But of course the advantage is if your windscreen is frozen, even if you don't have preconditioning where the vehicle then 
comes on at a set time in the morning and demist and defrost itself. If you don't have that and you've got to get in a vehicle which is frozen up, you don't actually need to scrape the windows on an EV. You can get in and within one to two minutes that vehicle is warm enough that the ice has melted off the windscreen and the side windows, swipe the wipers and you're away. And it's also far more comfortable inside obviously. So that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, please do click that thumbs up button uh, on YouTube. That really does help other people find the channel. Do subscribe if you haven't. Plenty of videos on electric vans on the channel as well. So do use the search function and look at those. And I'll see you on the next video.